how you treat their answer. Yeah. Um, well, you don't look like an adrenaline junkie, do you? I don't know. What does one look like? I don't know. It's difficult to picture you driving a Ferrari around a racetrack. It was fantastic. I bet it was. And you scuba dived. Yes. That was good fun. A bit scary. And you done at least one or several parachute jumps? Just one. That was quite a few years ago, but that was, that was good fun. Scary? Was a st static line one. Still a long way down, isn't it? Yes, yeah. No, it was good fun. I wanted to go straight back up again. I think most people that do it say that. OK. You have £1,000, so that's good. That's safe. You have all three lifelines. I'd like to give away some money tonight. I've only given away £2,000 so far. Question number three is for £2,000. Here it comes. At a swimming pool, what is a flume? Diving board. Water slide. Learner's pool. Changing room. That's a water slide. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Like um, one of those log flumes you go racing down. Mm -hmm. Right, you have 2,000. No lifelines needed yet. Question number four is for 5,000 pounds. The Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich made his fortune in which industry? Media, oil, computing, theatre. That's oil. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £5,000. <laughs> Probably a lot of people watching were waiting for Chelsea to come up as one of the options. <laughs> um, multi billionaire owner of Chelsea Football Club. Right, you have 5000 It's going rather well, but I'm not going to say that tonight because um, it's been going rather well and they're not going very well at mm. all. You have 5000 You can double it to 10 You have three lifelines. Question number five is this. Which of these TV sitcoms did not appear as a feature film? Are you being served? Faulty Towers, Porridge, Dad's Army. I think I'd like to ask the audience on that one, please. OK, right. Audience, this is the question. It's worth £10,000. Which of these TV sitcoms did not appear as a feature film, A, are you being served? B, Faulty Towers. C, Porridge. D, Dad's Army. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Uh, 80%. Mm. Want to play? Yes, please, I'll play Faulty Towers. It's the right answer, you've got £10,000. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah. Adrenaline surge? Yeah. Good. OK. <laughs> you got 10,000. This is for 20,000 pounds. We've already been in this territory tonight. Uh, and it all went terribly wrong. But let's not be negative. You've got two lifelines as well. You can double your money here. Question number six for 20,000 pounds is this. You've got 10,000 at this moment. Here it comes. Which wedding anniversary did the Queen and Prince Philip celebrate in 2007? Ruby. Golden. Diamond, platinum. Now. How many years do you think it was? It was. It was either. It was either. It was either fifty or sixty. And I just can't think. I'm going to play 50-50. OK, right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Oh! And I bet that was the two you were thinking of. Mm-hmm. This is sort of where we were earlier with Theresa. You've got £10,000. You have got a phone and friend still. You could still use your phone and friend. You could still take 10000 When do you think they got married? I'm just trying to work out. Um... Hmm. That'd be 57. The golden wedding would be 57. Couldn't be 57. I'm going to play golden. Final answer. Final answer. 
Why are you so certain it's 57? Because that 60 years would take it back to 1947. And I think that was too early. I'm hoping it was too early. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh. I don't know what's going wrong here tonight. You are wrong. The right answer is Diamond. They were married in 1947 before she came to the throne, and you've dropped back to £1,000. Give her a big hand. She still goes away. I've said this rather a lot tonight. She still goes away with £1,000. We'll take a break. Don't go away. Welcome back to the final part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Eight trigger-happy players left, all hoping to have the sharpest brain and fastest fingers. Nice and quiet, please. Here we go again. Here comes their next question. Starting with the arrival at an airport, put these stages of plane travel in the order they would normally occur. Take off, landing, check-in, in-flight movie. Okay, they've got eight left. Surely none of them could have got that wrong. Let's see, this is the right order, then we'll find out if they did all get it right. Uh, check in. Then you take off. Uh, then you have your in-flight movie, and then you land. It shouldn't really be in any other possible way around, but did eight get it right? Let's have a look. I don't think they did from one or two faces. Most of them, but not all. Who was fastest? Ruth only in 3.39 seconds! <laughs> Ruth, it's you! Right, are you ready for this? What's the most? Yes, please. Good girl. Right, let's try again. This is Ruth Ainley from Shenley in Hertfordshire. Uh, Ruth works as a physiotherapist in an intensive care ward, a job she finds very demanding, but also, she says, very rewarding. She's been married to Alex for four years, but he stayed at home tonight, partly to be a phone a friend, but most importantly to look after their two little ankle biters, James and Johnny. <laughs> so it's Ruth's dad, John, who's up there occupying the supporter's seat. He's hoping his daughter has a big win on this show, um, if she does. She says she'd love to visit her sister in New Zealand, but she's also a rugby fanatic, and Ruth says if she wins the million, she'll buy an England rugby player to put in the garden purely for decoration. <laughs> I think all you ladies can relate to that. Twelve questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. Ruth, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Question number one is for 500 pounds. You have three lifelines. Here we go. Which of these creatures is most associated with witches? Black sheep, black dog, black horse, black cat. Black cat. Black cat. That's the right answer. You have £500. <laughs> Don't look so worried. It'll be OK. Question number two is for £1,000. Guaranteed. Here it comes. Which type of tool has varieties called band and circular? Lathe, chisel, hammer, saw. That's saw. You have £1,000, Ruth Ainley. You're a big rugby fan? Yes. How did you get your love of rugby? From your dad or...? No, from my, from my mum, actually. We used to walk home um, sometimes at weekends past Tunbridge School and they'd be playing in the fields. And you and used then... to ogle the boys in shorts? Not at that age. <laughs> How old were you? About ten. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> um, and then, uh, as, as a physiotherapy um, graduate, I, it was something that you saw a lot of times, yeah. sports injuries. Um, and I worked with um, Barney Kenny, who was the England mm -hmm. rugby physio, um, for a little while, so just went from there. 
OK, you have £1,000. Question number three is for 2000 you have three lifelines. The Eiffel Tower is made chiefly from which material? Fiberglass, iron, teak, copper. I'd say iron. That's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> Question number four is for 5,000. You have not yet touched any lifelines. Here it comes. Lara is the heroine of which classic Russian novel? War and Peace, Fathers and Sons, Crime and Punishment, Dr. Zhivago. Gosh, I should know that. Um... Why should you? Because I remember Lara's theme in Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, it's Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, final answer, D, Dr. Zhivago. You kind of mumbled that, hoping that therefore it wouldn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right answer, you got 5,000 pounds. Instincts are spot on. Lara's theme, Lara Heroine by uh, Pasternak. You have £5,000. You are now playing for £10,000. You still have not yet touched any lifelines. Have a look at question number five. In the films of The Lord of the Rings, which character is played by Billy Boyd, Saruman, Pippin, Aragorn, Boromir? I need to answer, ask the audience. I don't know. No idea. Mm -mm. Have you not seen any of them? That was famous. Oh, I have heard of it. <laughs> Been on everywhere for. No, ages. I haven't. I haven't read it. Haven't watched it. Right, audience, another chance to shine tonight. You've been very good. This is the question that Ruth's stuck on at this moment. Here it comes. In the films of the Lord of the Rings, which character is played by Billy Boyd? Now, A on your screens is Saruman. B is Pippin. C is Aragorn, D is Boromir. A, B, C or D, how well do you know your Lord of the Rings, audience? All vote now. Sixty per cent say Pippin, three per cent Saruman, fifteen Aragorn, twenty-two Boromir. They came up with sixty-odd per cent last time and they were good, but... Don't know, it's up to you. I will go with the audience. And say 60%. Pippin. Final answer. Final answer. You can't change. Once it's gone to orange, you know you can't change your mind. You don't know them. You don't know your dad. I don't think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Luckily for you, the others do. It's the right answer. You've got £10,000. <laughs> Tonight at midnight here on Challenge, we find out which games are worth your shekels in the blurb.